Hello guys, in this session I'm going to configure workflow manager in SharePoint. First download web platform installer. Run this one. I accept terms and agreement. Yes. Finish and search web platform installer yes okay search workflow manager here select this one add and install I accept I will use later this. I don't want to use Microsoft Update. Continue. Yeah, Workflow Manager 1.0 Refresh CO2 is installed. Do not continue, just close it and close this one also again search web platform installer yes search again workflow manager now you have to install update 5 add install I accept. I don't want to use Microsoft Update. Continue. Okay, finish. And search again. Workflow. Workflow Manager or just Workflow. And at this time, we have to install Client Preview. install I accept I don't want to use continue finish exit now go to workflow manager configuration yes and configure workflow manager with custom settings my database server is DB test connection and it will create this DB database. Uh, okay, fine. My user ID is okay, and I will specify the certificate uh, this is my self signed certificate I created from here uh, server certificate this is my self signed certificate so I will use this self signed certificate more twice this one and I already installed this certificate to root certificate authority from here install local machine next yes place certificate in following store and this is trusted root certificate authorities next finish this is already installed so we, we can find here okay and for outbound also same certificate okay uh, these are the default ports for HTTP and HTTPS. That's fine for me. And allow work for management over HTTP in this computer. That's fine. Next. Or there is. So, so. Okay. Next. 
and this is for SolidWorks configuration then my database is db same so uh, in my database server this workflow will create this database test connection it's fine fine and fine use same service account credential is provided for workflow manager and certificate I will use same certificate ok and ok these are the default ports that's fine and enable firewall rules on this computer to allow this port for the connection next this is the summary what we selected a verify once and click apply Configuration is successfully completed. Please click close. Now I am going to browse SharePoint Central Administration. And application management. Manage service application. There should be one. Management the application. There is nothing till now. And here should be one workflow management site it is created and it look fine these are our default ports in HTTP and HTTPS now open SharePoint management cell run as administrator yes this is my site collection I am going to provide workflow manager for this site collection. That's this one. So here, restore SP workflow service. SP site my site is http sp16 slash sites slash demo and workflow for host URI is http my workflow hosting machine sp16 this is my EFQDN fully qualified domain name and port is for the HTTP uh, port is 12291 and allow HTTP Hit enter and wait for few minutes. Okay, there is no error and no warning message. I think this is fine and it's working. Now go to central administration and refresh this page. Here, there is the workflow service application proxy. 
and click here this is workflow service status workflow is connected thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel thank you